morning, YouTubers. It's Bernie uh, with St. Lucie Metal Detecting. Uh, as you can see, I'm en route to the hunt. Um, today we are going to be hunting uh, the House of Refuge in Stewart, Florida. Um, I can see it from here, but you can't. Uh, off to my right, it's in the uh, it's right along the Barrier Island. I'll be hunting with Jason today, a friend of mine. He was uh, he was in my metal detecting club some years back. Uh, actually, he designed my T-shirts when I had them. And uh, he's a great, great guy. Um, he's coming out. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, we're going to hunt this and see if we can uh, find anything. Um, when I get there, I will do a little uh, little history on the area. Um, very interesting place. All right, see you in a minute. This relaxing minute brought to you by St. Lucie Metal Detecting Channel. Uh, I'm north of the house now. We're hunting this area. Uh, a couple pieces of shipwreck sheathing so far. No coins. One can. And all this rock and all that beach to search yet. Um, I've got the 15 inch coil on the machine today. Just so I can go a little bit deeper. But uh, you can see how high the uh, cut is. Uh, all this yellow sand is the original sand, so that's where I'm concentrating right now. Maybe something else has fallen out. Um, the water did get up to the dunes again in a few spots overnight. You can see over here. There's a, there's, a, there's a cut down here by the rocks, like a two-foot cut. So i hit that on the way back and see. All right, I'll update on a good find. All right, folks, right here on the uh, coral edge, straight there. Had a signal about five inches down. I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's silver or not. But it's an old uh, Roosevelt. I'm trying to get the date off it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't know if you can see it, but I can't make it out. 20 something. So it's a new plan. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, I'm on the south side of uh, the House of Refuge. Uh, you can see the plank there. I'm trying to get a little bit closer. Uh, it says George Valentine, Iron Hold Indian Bark. George Valentine was built in 1869 at Liverpool, England. She was wrecked here on a storm October 16th, 1904, while bound from Pensacola to Buenos Aires with a load of lumber. Five members of her 12 man crew drowned, but the rest found shelter at Gilbert's Bar House of Refuge, located directly on shore. Some history. Bet you haven't seen a tree from this perspective.
cut is about 15, 16 feet all the way down. I'm gonna search this whole spot. All right, guys. I'm in the rocks hunting with the pinpointer now. I'm finding pennies and square nails and stuff like that. And I just came across this little item right down here. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Ready? Here it comes. Crucifix. Old crucifix. I'm gonna check that out. Looks to be silver. Pretty shiny underneath there. Let's see. On to the next. All right, folks. Uh, I'm done for the day. Been out for a little over four hours hunting. Um, heading back to the house to do a wrap up. Uh, I don't know if you remember the last, I guess, two videos ago. I did the, uh, the video right after the storm, where the, uh, I don't know, right during the storm, right before the storm, and the road was closed. This is the road. Um, a lot of the areas are washed out and all the trees are down and you know, close it gets to the water here that part right there was washed out but there's uh, it's still showing some damage along here but anyway um, I just figured I'd take this way home take a look and see what's going on all right wrap up coming up talk to you guys a bit Okay, I hope there's enough light. Uh, I can't tell because I'm looking in the reflection of a computer at the screen on the back of the camera. So I don't know if there's enough light or not, but I put a light. So I noticed some of, some of the intro or some of my commentary is a little dark. So hopefully this is good. Um, hunted the House of Res Refuge and Gilbert's Bar today. Gilbert's Bar used to be an old inlet many years ago. Um, I will turn the camera around show you what I found uh, a lot of iron a um, few square nails um, but we'll get to it and I'll show you uh, so I'm going to swing around here and uh, this is the trash bottom of the can so not too much trash a um, couple of hunks of iron a lot of green nails and screws another hunk of iron here part of a hook i don't know it's part of some type of clip um this i'm not sure this is really heavy it's brass or bronze i'm not sure uh, i'm gonna have that checked uh i don't know at first i thought it was a coin but when it came up out of the coral it looked like a coin on the edge um, this I have no clue I'm gonna research that and see what I can find uh, a lot of these things I have to break the coral off to see what they are there may be spikes underneath this stuff uh, this is all iron and nails uh, this one here is encrusted to some shells okay um, that's what I'm considering the garbage today um, over here, we've got a dollar and quarters, two nickels, six dimes, nine pennies. This is either bronze or brass. Uh, it looks like some part of a, I would think it's off of a boat or something. So it's countersunk holes, maybe part of a hinge. I'm not sure. Um, over here, we got assorted let me move this cord assorted um, weights that's a real old fishing weight a couple of round ones newer ones like a split shot this i don't know i don't know if it's a weight but it's got these odd holes on the side not sure what that is i have to look into that um and this one here i don't know what it is it's smooth completely smooth <clears throat> but it is metal and it's very heavy so it's, I'm thinking it's lead but I'll have that checked um, shipwreck sheathing little bits of it 
This is another one I don't know. Not sure. I thought it was a bullet casing, but it doesn't doesn't have an end on it, so I'm not sure what that is. Um, that's another piece of either sheathing or iron. Not sure. 22 shell. Um, and for the best finds of the day, we got four assorted square nails. That one's pretty cool. I like the way that one is bent up. It's a tip of a square nail, another tip of a square nail, and that's a full one right there. Those are old, probably uh, late 1700s, early 1800s. And the best find is right there crucifix that was in the coral and I had to dig with a screwdriver to get it out uh, I think I recorded that in the video I dug it up and then I popped it out and then then I videoed so that's that oh and a really good find here we go I uh, you know I talk about shipwreck sheathing all the time look at this piece that's a giant piece of shipwreck sheathing. And I've seen this go on uh, on eBay for like, for a six by six piece, like for $95. And uh, if you look at this, let me just touch the camera so I can see where I'm focusing on. You can see the holes have their square, where they had square nails and some round nails in them. But yeah, you could tell what the square nails were. So that's a pretty cool find right there. So that's it. That's all I have. That's my update. Uh, videos coming up. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. It looks like um, the conditions from Hurricane Nicole are deteriorating. But this week we have a nor'easter coming in uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So it should tear up the beaches a little bit more. So maybe we'll get lucky out there and find something else but uh, it was a almost a five hour hunt today four and a half four hours and 45 minutes so i uh, did a lot of digging got sore knees from kneeling on the coral digging stuff out of the rock so anyway that's all i have have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you on the next dig